But with Russell Wilson still sidelined with a calf injury, Justin Fields will once again be under center for the Steelers this Sunday. Fields underwhelmed in his week one start, throwing for under 200 yards and failing to get his team into the end zone. RC, our former Steeler, you're up first. What's your confidence level that Fields will remain the starter moving forward? I think the first thing is I disagree that he underwhelmed. I thought Justin Fields played extremely well. I thought Justin Fields did oh. exactly what Arthur Smith wanted him to do. Arthur Smith wanted him to keep the football away from Jesse Bates and Justin Simmons inside the numbers, and he did that. And when he had opportunities to push the football up the field, we saw him do that with extreme accuracy. There was a football down the sideline to George Pickens that was called back for an OPI. The throwback late in the second quarter to get them in field goal range, and also the big deep ball in the third. I thought that Justin Fields did exactly what he was supposed to do. Now you want to expand the playbook and allow him to get a little more comfortable in what he can do as the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback, also using his legs to pick up first downs and to move the ball down the field. I'm comfortable with who Justin Fields was in week one, and I expect him, to, in my estimation, to be the starter throughout the rest of the season. I don't. Okay. I don't, and I don't think he should as of yet. I think he's definitely in the future. I have no problem if the second half of the season, that's a choice that you make. But I don't think that, I don't think that he's done enough, RC, where you can look at him and say, we don't need to see Russell Wilson. We don't see to see what we don't need to see what Russell Wilson could bring to the table for this team this particular season. I love I the fact that Justin Fields was extending plays with his with his legs. I love that. This is the first time we've seen that from a Steelers quarterback in years, where they can run with the football. That was a beautiful, beautiful thing to see. And he did have a couple of deep ball opportunities where I thought there was accuracy there. There were some throws that weren't as accurate, and I think that's been a problem for him uh, thus far. I don't think that will persist. I think he'll get better, but never. And I know he's the future, but I'm just of the mindset I would have liked, you know, to to sit here and talk about he's the guy right now when all you did was six field goals in, 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 in a particular game, I'm not willing to go that route. I'm sorry, not yet. I agree with Stephen A. that Justin Fields did not do enough to lock up the starting position for the rest of the season. But what the hell has Russell Wilson done that he just gets the automatic assumption of being a starter when he's healthy? What has he done? Because I'm a Broncos fan, and I saw what he did in two years in Denver. And I know last year it took four weeks before he helped orchestrate the Broncos' first win of the season. To me, it's not – you're talking about a 25-year-old, and it's not like a lot of times we're beholden to playing these quarterbacks because of the contract, right? Deshaun Watson's going to get more leash than I think he should because they're paying him that much money. It's the Broncos that are on the tab for the Russell Wilson bill right now, right? Like, the, the, essentially, the Steelers are paying him and Justin Fields almost the exact same thing. One of them has all the upside in the world, and he's 25 years old, and he's someone you could build around. So until he absolutely – the bed, I have no idea why we're just assuming that Russell Wilson, who has shown absolutely nothing, not in Denver and then on this brand-new team, because That's he's been hurt with that calf year. injury – because he's been hurt with that calf injury, what has he done that we're just going to automatically make him? And I think Mike Tomlin, for some reason, feels like because he said it in the in the pre preseason and in the offseason, he somehow still has to stand by that. And I, the evidence shows you that at least right now you ride the hot hand, and that's Justin Fields. Well, I think the assumption is that it's easier to go from Russell Wilson to Justin Fields than the other way around. That's why Mike Tomlin dubbed Russell Fields the starter, and uh, Russell Wilson the starter, and put it in pencil and not in pen. But I mean, proof of concept matters when it comes to what's going on with the Pittsburgh Steelers yeah. season right now. You just proved that you can go out there and win a regular season game with Justin Fields as your quarterback. And as L already mentioned, he's got all of the upside in the world. The guy is 25 years old. Now I get it. There's a lot of bad that Justin Fields has to unlearn sure. in terms of the habits that he had with the Chicago Bears. Sure. I mean, think about it. You're talking about somebody since they started college ball that's had six different coordinators in four different head coaches. Yeah. That's a lot. So when R.C. says Justin Fields didn't underwhelm, I don't think he did either. Yeah. I mean, you're talking about him playing a brand of ball that allows Mike Tomlin and the Pittsburgh Steelers to lean into their formula for success, defense. which is using our defense <laughs> and special teams to muck up the game like nobody's Guys, business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you look defense. at what Russell, Justin yeah. Fields did, I mean, listen, offense scoring points off of turnovers created by the defense, short fields, extra possessions, that's exactly what you want. S.A.? What, what, what am I missing? What am I missing from all of y'all? Didn't y'all tell me last year? Not the year before, because we know that Russell Wilson was hot garbage. And we know that he alienated half the team, if not all of them. You know, with his own separate offices, the same entries and all of this other stuff where teammates didn't want, he acted like he didn't want to be a part of it. He thought he was better than everybody else. We know that, Russell Wilson. We also know the Russell Wilson that showed up last year 
threw 26 touchdowns, eight interceptions. They went on a winning streak, and it wasn't until Sean, you know, uh, you, you know, the coach. I'm sorry, I, I got brain lock right here. Sean Payton. Sean Payton. Sean Payton. Yeah. Sean Payton, that's that. Sean Payton, I'm sorry. It wasn't until Sean Payton basically said, we don't want this dude next year and beyond because he's going to cost us. He's going to cost us about $80 million. We ain't trying to have that. We willing to eat the $37.8 million now. It, it, the $39 million, basically. It wasn't until then where Russell Wilson was sat down. We looked at him last year. I'm listening to y'all last year. Y'all said, yo, he's playing better. He's doing well. That's what y'all said. So if we're piggybacking off of that, and this, don't get me wrong, I didn't see what I saw in Seattle. I'm not trying to imply that. I'm going by what y'all told RC. me. Y'all said, yo, he's looking better. And if that's the case, we never saw Justin Fields look like that. So why wouldn't the Steelers give him the edge? Because you have one year to look at them both. They are both signed for one-year deals, and they're both free agents after this year. And when you talk about upside, both of their floors are low, but there's one person who we don't actually know what he could be given the right circumstances, and that's Justin Fields. Given all the best circumstances in the world, Russell Wilson is still a guy that's going to lead a team to eight wins. Well, I think, I, think the other, I think the other piece is this, is you're making this about Russell Wilson and not Justin Fields. This is not about Russell Wilson to me. I believe that Russell Wilson could be fine as the starting quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is best-case scenario for the Pittsburgh Steelers and Mike Tomlin because you don't have a decision to make. Russell Wilson can't play. So what happened when Justin Fields was on the field and when Justin Fields had to be uh, implemented as the starter. You found a way to win the game. And if I'm watching T.J. Watt wreck the game defensively, why in the hell am I going to put Justin Fields in a position to make a mistake? Why am I going to ask him to do more than I asked him to do last week? That's but fair. we watched him, as the game progressed, okay. get more accurate. We watched mm -hmm. him operate the offense even better. We watched him move the pocket because that's the place Arthur Smith called, got the football out of his hands and picked up plays with his right. legs. What I'm saying is he's earned the right to start again. You're right. All right, at Denver, we'll see. Attention Steelers fans. We have a key update before the Week 2 matchup against the Denver Broncos. The Steelers have made an important move to strengthen their roster. The team has elevated wide receiver Ben Skoranek from the practice squad, meaning he'll be available to play this Sunday. What does this mean? Keep watching to find out. Ben Skoranek, who was a special teams captain with the Rams, has been called up for the second time this season. This allows him to play in the game and then return to the practice squad without having to go through waivers. It's a strategic move by the Steelers, as they only have one more elevation available before they would need to sign him to the 53-man active roster. This move could be a sign that rookie Roman Wilson won't see action this week. Wilson, who twisted his ankle during training camp, had been practicing at full capacity, but his participation decreased toward the end of the week. Although he is listed as questionable, it seems the Steelers prefer to wait for his highly anticipated NFL debut. Now, what can we expect from Skoranek? Not much on offense, as his main role will be on special teams, specifically as a gunner, just like in Week 1. While he won't be a standout on offense, his special team's ability is crucial, and the Steelers are making the most of his experience in this area. In addition to Wilson, the Steelers are also awaiting decisions on Russell Wilson, who remains listed as questionable for Denver. Although it's likely he won't play, he might be on the inactive list, but ready as the third emergency quarterback, as he was last week. Meanwhile, all signs point to Justin Fields starting at quarterback for the Broncos. This game is shaping up to be exciting and full of emotions. Make sure to leave your comments on what you expect from Skoranek and whether you think the Steelers will come out victorious in this crucial matchup. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit like for more exclusive news. See you in the next video, fans.